everyone because we're here today it's about two of my let's play of um this game uh what's it called again the lion king two simba's mighty pride or some shit like that and mighty um, adventure yeah that's right um <laughs> and today we're doing the graveyard as we can see in this menu here it says explains what each um one is worth what each like collectible is worth so you can read that and you need a oh okay i see the rainbow one is worth 50. <laughs> you haven't got one of those random yet. colored one. Oh, okay yeah so you need a hundred of them to complete the level yeah, uh, okay all right sure, yep. i'm pretty sure i do remember that as a young kid um, do the poor tokens give you anything else apart from just I'm yeah, pretty sure if you get more, it unlocks more mini games and stuff. So this oh, is okay. the graveyard, and this is a level I definitely remember as a kid. I don't know why. Yes, I yes, really I remember. It, it's got all the bones in it, and there's that female one there, and yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure the next level after this is all is in 3D. I'm pretty sure. I don't know why. I'm, yeah, I yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's right. Is, is this like Lilo and Stitch, where like every yeah, second level this, is look at the textures. 2D? Oh, Ratchet, look at the textures. I reckon that actually looks like Lilo and Stitch. <laughs> Cohen or the uh, second to last level or whatever. Do you think it really? Yeah, <laughs> okay, well, I'll see what it's made by actually because I was wondering that before. But um, don't you remember like in Lilo and Stitch, how they like, occasionally had like two D levels? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know. He's a yeah. No, like, I, I agree. Yeah. Okay, so apparently it was developed by Activision and someone called Taurus Games, uh, who I'm looking at now. And I want to see what games they uh, made at the same around the same time. Um, well, apparently, well, on damn, wait the hell, what the hell? I'll look on PlayStation. Wait, hang on. Yeah, you keep it talking, and I'll I'll keep on looking. No, okay, okay, okay. Um, yeah, sorry. So yeah, this is like the graveyard now. I'm, I can't really remember The Lion King two very well as a kid. Um, uh, this is based on this is based on Lion King one, isn't it? No, two. No, 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 it's number one. The, guys, the game is Lion King 2, and there's only one Lion King game. No, it's it's the, it's the, it's the second Lion King game. Sorry, my brother just walked in the room. It, it's the second Lion King game. Is it? Oh, okay. It, 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 it's, it's like, because I think they made, like, a non-canon Lion King game. I'm or is it, it might be just be the first. Going backwards. It might, it might just, it might just be the first Lion King game. Like, how do you know it's Lion King 2? Like, what tells you that? Uh, um, okay, well, apparently I can't get a straight answer, but it looks like that uh, Taurus Games made the Game Boy Color version and Activision made the PlayStation version, but I'm not completely sure. But anyway, it yeah, doesn't really matter. Uh, case. Yes. Who made Obviously, Lilo and Stitch? Yes. Actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to walk over to my case of Lilo and Stitch and find out who made that game. I'm pretty sure it wasn't the same people. Oh, how the hell did you get that? Uh, okay, let's see. Who made Lilo and Stitch? It was Disney Interactive and Blitz Games, yeah. Okay, yeah. In fact, but, Blitz yeah. Games actually so made um, Chicken Run as well on the PS4. Did they? Chicken, did they? Okay, anyway, um, just... Actually, let's see... Yeah, I'm just saying if you made Tarzan, that's just... Yeah, shut up, shut up, Angus. He's trying to talk. And what were we saying, Chris? Um, sure? I was going to say how horrible the lava textures look. My God. Oh, right. I, I think you were talking about that in the Lilo and Stitch Let's Play as well, how horrible they were as well. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Swearing. Um, so, in in light of this game, which was made before Lilo and Stitch, would you say that Lilo and Stitch is even more of a ripoff after you've played this? Um, well, well, Lilo and Stitch was made in two thousand two. It looks like the textures, you know, from those Disney crappy games are very similar. It looks like they almost borrowed it, like with the whole Jack and Daxter and Ratchet and Clank debacle. You know how apparently um, Ratchet <laughs> and Clank stole oh my textures or something or borrowed textures. Yeah. From Lilo and Stitch. Andrew, no, I Lilo do. And Stitch, Jack and Daxter. Oh, what? Okay, so for some reason the Ustream page just reloaded. I'm going to get yeah, an ad. Okay, so. Sorry, this is it. This is it. This is what I remember. The 3D portion of the level. That's actually a very, very smart idea to have 3D and 2D <laughs> in one level. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. Yeah. Don't you remember this so well? Hey, um, just. If I may, um, break away from this and go a bit off topic at the moment, may I? Okay. Yeah, no problem. As long as it's cool. And uh, Andrew, remember, remember when I, um I said Queen and Michael Jackson were on the radio? Yeah. Well, just before Red Hot Chili Peppers was on the radio, and now U two's on the radio. Right. Okay. Yeah. Creepy. Yeah. Isn't, anyway. isn't that weird? Yeah, it's really weird. <laughs> anyway. Uh -huh. Um. Yeah. So this is the three D portion. I I remember this level so well because you know, as a young boy, you know, Bones wasn't necessarily something normal. <laughs> you know what I mean? 
<laughs> yeah, to Warm Zone, no. No, I, I know what you're saying, yeah. Um, back to the discussion about how this, this is similar to Lilo and Stitch. A lot of the games made in the 2000s uh, used the new technology of, of allowing cutscenes, uh, CGI cutscenes, or just like... Um, uh, cutscenes converted from videos in the game and so they put a lot of cutscenes from the movies uh, into the game and this game isn't any different is it um yeah this game isn't any different um actually i've just beaten the first boss if that makes any sense um it appears that that's a boss yeah yeah that's right oh, the hyenas, the hyenas. The all right yeah but um yeah so this lilo and stitch and monsters inc uh, all had uh cutscenes in their game yeah, that was kind of like and... a disney tradition uh. from year 2000 onwards it's oh, funny yeah. though, like, uh, isn't it weird how like most of the games we used to play as like kids and like uh, less playing right now actually were Disney games? Yeah, no, a lot well, of the games I, were. Hmm. I think that that's because we we watch a lot of uh, Disney Disney movies and then like those movies and so therefore bought the games as well. Yeah, that's um, true. That's true. Yeah, pr probably, probably. Bit of a trap that we all fall fell into basically. Damn you, Walt Disney, and your communist hating ways. Well, wait, was he communist? I can't remember. Well, well, Walt Disney died in like 8980 or um, something, so we had nothing to do with this game. Didn't, didn't uh, die. Over, but um, we can continue. Oh, I, <laughs> Walt Disney was cryogenically frozen underneath Disney World. Uh, anyway. Apparently, apparently. Yeah, well, we're, we're doing a crystal fissure to crystal fissure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, that, that can be added to the cross wiki, talking unnecessarily after the end of an LP part. So anyway, wrap it up. Alright, yeah, so um, we'll, we'll be back in the next part. Um, so this that was the graveyard, which is actually quite an easy level, um, but it was a lot of fun, very nostalgic for me. And as you notice, after every level, we've actually got like a picture of what scene that was in the movie, so I thought that was kind of interesting, as you can see on the Ustream. Yeah, I know what saying, yeah. Um, so yeah, best clearance, 88%, that's not bad, stampedes unlocked it, and we got one gourd, whatever that means, and all the Simba, and all the Simba <laughs> things. So, Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you later in part three. See ya. And thanks for Bye. Bye. Bye.